Hello! Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to our very, very first Friday Open Art Scope! I'm so happy to have everybody here while I'm waiting for people to come in here. Let me adjust this. Hello! Hi, Jenny! So happy to have our first uh, Open Scope going here on Friday and to be a part of it. Hey, okay. so those of you that don't know me, but most of you do, oops, <laughs> hi, I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Design, and this is where you can find me and follow me and all that fun stuff, and today I'm going to work on this belly dancer, but first I want to, um, oh, tilt you guys, tilt it this way, first I want to give everybody a shot of our lineup today. So, um, follow the rest of the people. We had a late jump in here by Henna Finey. She's going to come in after me. We still have 3 o'clock open as far as I know. So that um, if anybody wants to hop in at 3, hop in at Henna's, um, Henna Finey's scope and let her know that you want to come in at 3. We still have 3 to 4 open if anybody wants to hop in and take that. But there's the rest of our lovely lineup for today. And I am going to work on this. So, so far, let me see, I need to move my tablet a little bit. It's knocking my setup here. I was doing other stuff beforehand, guys. All right, so I have this so far. When I'm done, my um, sketch will be gone. Oh, thank you. So this is where I will be. And um, I figured today, let me get the picture up for you. This is where I'm headed with it. This is a famous belly dancer. Her name is Amira. And so she's going to be part of my dancer series. And so today I am going to work on um, her outfit for you guys. Because all that's really left for some of this is details. But I'll show you guys. Let me, let me zoom in really quick. So in the end, the scope will be the um, sketch will be gone. And you can see I have I have some of the detail work done, but it still needs some it still needs some stuff. I just I haven't really had time to work on it a whole lot, so I still have all this um, detail to do. But we are going to start on the fun stuff, which is always the costume. Because the costume is all the what it's really about. It's all this um, glittery, glamoury stuff. Don't worry, boys. I will add her cleavage in later. <laughs> she will have cleavage when I'm done. I promise. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to add a new layer, and we are going to put this. We'll just mark it top. Can you choose? Can you choose what? What kind of cleavage she got? I'm going to know. I have to give her her cleavage. It's going to look like that. No, nope, it's whatever that looks like. <laughs> because this is a real person. I'm not just making her up. She's a real person. So I have to be as true to her, but I think she has a pretty decent cup size. I don't know how big you want it, but I think that cup size was pretty decent. Might just be my opinion, but, you know, I thought it was pretty decent. Alright. So, I am going to turn my sketch back on for some guidance here. And start laying in some of this blue. Now, this is a fashion illustration, so it's not meant to look, um exactly like a photo or anything but we are going to do our best to represent the color and design that is on here and technically um these are beadings down here so i might add them in more as beads 
when I get in there. So the outfit she's wearing is, um, it's called Bella. And that's the designer for this belly dancing outfit. And this um, belly dancer name is Amira. So I guess she's a fancy, um, like, famous belly dancer. So we just start out with our basic um, blue color. And I'm not worried about staying in the lines because I could come back here and erase it. And it's on a separate layer, so it's not going to mess anything up too much. I'm just more or less worried right now about um, getting her color established. And I, I really want to get the look of the, um, the shivery blue, which is done with a few little tricks. We get to them today. Okay. And then, like all my dancers, when I'm done, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> when I'm done, um, the I'll print it out, and I will paint on top of the print and put glitter and all the fun stuff on there. It's the weekend. Working for the weekend. Alright. So these little lines that are on here are more or less my um, pattern lines to help give me some direction. And then so okay. Here's some of this darker blue, which will give me dimensions here. Anyway. No, <laughs> who won the Nobel Prize? I didn't even know they were having a thing yet. Was it somebody stupid? Well, you know. Who? Your professor? Really? So you work with the Nobel Prize winner now? That is pretty awesome. She has like this little mandala like thing in the middle here, guys. I don't know how detailed I'm going to get into that either. We'll see. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure everybody's been like, woohoo hoo I hope you guys have a good party and have fun. It seems exciting. I was going to say, party! Celebrate it for sure. That's amazing. So, what did he do to win the Nobel Peace Prize? Oh, okay. Not that I even know what that means or does, but okay. Sounds complicated and interesting and, like, he must be very, very smart. <laughs> oh, jeez. So is that, like, something that, like, someday we can drive cars or something without gas? Is that kind of what he's working towards? No? Oh, darn it. Gas is, like, three bucks a gallon here now. I'm like, really? A nanoscale, that means really small, right? So what are they going to use those for? You. Probably use them for some kind of secret weapon. 
Who knows? Yeah, some government will take them and do something that whatever with them. All right. So we're establishing our little background here. I'm just adding water. It's hard to do these in the hours, so that's why like you, I try to skip ahead to keep it like not the same thing and not messing with the details. But the details is what really makes it, guys. So please keep it in that mind when you watch my scopes here. It's a whole process. And it doesn't just happen instantly. And sometimes I don't even know what the process is going to be. Sometimes even I have to experiment and play around to get it to look the way I imagine it to look. All right, so I'm just really trying to, um, I'll mess with this stuff later. I'm really just trying to, like, put in some of this work, and now I need to get the gold. And then when I take it off, I can um, work on the details. So, it's just like this gold thing up here. A little peaky of a gold coming out over in here. Um, this is shimmery, shimmery, shim. And so basically I'm just putting the basic layers down. And then when I take the sketch off and see what I have, I will work on uh, making these look like they are really there. Okay. Alright, so turn that off. We can start seeing this develop here. I want to erase a little bit of this because I'm going to make it be more bead-like. Like dangly beads. Alright. So let's just define this edge here a little bit. Alright, so now I'm using my handy eraser. You haven't drawn yet. I know, I've been really busy. And it's like this, this, um, you know, moving into the studio here space and setting stuff up and just you know, other drama and crap. It's been a little crazy. So, my layer for this is actually, I don't know why I have it on top of my hair. So I'm going to lay it. This is what I'm going to show you guys. Watch. I'm going to actually cover over her hair here. So you can see this. I want it to go kind of in this shape. And then I'll add the beads on. So it kind of goes like in this V shape. But her hair comes over the edge over here. So. Alright. So I colored over her hair. And just kind of like over in here too. This will bring it out a little 
more. But it's really under her hair. So I'm going to take that layer and put it under her hair. And then it'll make it look like it's actually under her hair. And I don't have to worry about messing up um, the layer. Because it's on its own layer. So I can draw under here without it um, interfering with the hair work that I've done. So now we're going to zoom in and start... Start getting some definition, some definition of this costume here. When you're doing a fashion illustration, it really is all about the clothes. And this is still oil setting, so these are going to um, blend in. And see, I have like, these little marks for creases and shadows, which are going to help me give a flow of the costumes. Good morning, Kenny. How are you? Okay, so then I'll bring my water. Ooh, fair. Yeah, it should be busy. It's a Friday. It should be a busy day. I'm getting close to the weekend. Oh, I'm sorry. I said it should be a busy day. It's getting close to the weekend. Hello! Yeah. That's why most, like, anytime they have festivals around here, they're always on, like, um... I think the earliest is in the middle of summer. There's one that starts like on a Wednesday. So being an oil painting, guys, I gotta build up these layers. And the, but the, it sounds like a pain in the butt to build up the layers, but the layers will do a natural shading for me as I kind of go and help me develop um, depth and dis dimension. So as I come in here and go like this. It's going to start making it look a little more more refined here. And then once I get the highlights in, it'll pop it out. This is a little applique that's on this costume. And the same things over here, but it's a little darker because it goes under her hair. But I can draw right under her hair.
So we, I do want this to look a little three-dimensional. Sorry if I missed comments, you guys. My camera is kind of like out of my way right at the second. Uh, we've had a crazy morning already. <laughs> Just another day in paradise. Hey, thanks for coming. And if I take my dark blues and I start laying that in here. you need to understand is there's going to be little sparkles in here so then when you step back you can start seeing it develop into the costume applique on her costume. And so then these same dots will come along these ridges the little sequins sparkling where the light hits it. So this isn't a famous belly dancer, her name is Amara, but I do custom illustrations, like wedding dresses and um, dance costumes or prom dresses, things like that. Oh yeah, it's in the background. I have, it's called... Um, Belly Dance Heat or something like that on Pandora. Love it. Gets me in the mood to paint her. Alright, so not so much in the shadow. We're not going to have as much of that color. And just like, um, if you ever look at a sequin dress, you'll see that the sequins reflect in different colors, even though it's the same color sequin. So some are going to be dark, and some are going to show up light, and some might even look white. And in the grand scheme of this whole thing, 
seeing the details of that is um, sort of minor, but when it's back a little farther, your eye will catch it. Okay. So now just a little bit of the white we need. We just went to an amazing wedding too that um, my, my son's best friend is um, part Arabic and he just got married and so while it wasn't really like a full Arabic wedding they did do some of like the dancing and um, it was so much fun like some of his older relatives and they, they did like the lifting him up on the chairs and his grandmother got out on the floor and was dancing with like a champagne bottle on top of her head and I was like holy schmoly grandma it was so cool. They like to get their party in. I think those the older people like live for those weddings. It's crazy. Alright. I'm going to just take water. This brush is called Just Add Water because that's exactly what it is. And I'm just going to tap on my, just tap it over to soften up some of my sequin work. And this is more or less just for the painting because um, if this was somebody's uh, illustration and they were going to get, you know, receive this, it'd be printed out on my linen paper that I have. And then I would embellish it with acrylic paints and glitter. So this would all be painted and glittered in real glitter. But I also do it a texture in my drawing here. I'm trying to see comments, guys. I need to work on my setup, so this is still new to me. Alright, so now I have... I'm going to steal these colors and put them over here. And I'm just going to draw right underneath her hair. Okay, well you have a good day. I hope it's nice and busy for you. You make some money. Alright. So now I get to do the fun part of these little beads. Um, it's like a fringe. So I'm just going to do... So I want to get rid of this little part right here. I want it to be a little... I'm just erasing it. So she's going to have this fringe that's hanging down and it kind of goes into her cleavage hair, which is really nice. So I'm just going to make some little lines. This is my very first um, belly dancer costume, so like, it will take a little patience, I think. I'm used to doing more flowy gowns like the ballerina tutus, and um, belly dancing has a lot of um, fringe and beading. So, might take a little more patience to figure some of this out, and I might have to come up with some um, new techniques. So I don't like what I just did. New techniques. But that's the fun of drawing and being an artist is um, discovering different ways to do things. It's one of my favorite.
Which is why... Uh, I can't make her naked. I didn't do a naked layer. That would have been something, huh? I could have just like erased the clothes and she would have been naked. Maybe next time. <laughs> oh, I'm a little silly. Because I would never print her out that way. Oh god, I just thought of a genius idea, right? Like, people would buy them that way. The secret... The secret dancers. Oh lord. Alright, I want to make this brush just slightly bigger. So I'm going to use it to be a bead. And we're going to just kind of do some little dots here. Biggest one is in the middle. Okay, so you can see how I'm developing the beads, and I'll just give them a little bit of um sparkle to them. Just put very small little dots so they look like they're hitting the light. So you see how you start with the basic shapes? And then we'll start developing the details. And so then it's going to start. And so I'll compare here and say, okay, I need a little more shimmer in there and a little more shine. Okay, so then I'll make maybe a little more bigger. There we go. Alright. So, just so you guys know, today is our very first open art. Our open art scope, our very first one. Here's our lineup today. I'm Kathy Griller here at Wine. So, um, Hannah Find Me is coming up next. We still have an open spot as far as I know at three, unless anybody knows any different. Um, and th here we have the rest of our lineup. It starts again with Alyssa at four. So, take a pic screenshot so you can follow us later. But you can also always search hashtag open art, hashtag Monday Monday, hashtag rated capital R. <laughs> and um, be able to find our replays or who's on live. So thank you for joining us for our very, very first mon um, Friday, Monday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, Friday scope. <laughs> and if you like what you see and you might want to see it finished because I know I won't finish it, this is me. You can find me here. Follow me here or on any of the social media. I would highly recommend the Facebook or the Instagram, and you will be kept up to date on all my little art goings on and um, what I do. I do more than just um, dancers. So, if you're interested, I'd love to get to know you and see you around. Thank you. Okay, commercial break over. <laughs> Let's get on with the show here. And so that's all it is. It's more of this. Back and forth, back and forth. Alright. So.
So this thing kind of goes like this, and it does like a little loopy, and it comes around. And this one is like sneaking there, and this one. This is a very flashy costume, which is probably why I liked it. That one's off. I don't like that. Boom, boom, boom. I want to dance. I would not want to see me belly dance though. Because one, I don't know how to do it. Hi, T! I need to make that smaller, I think. I'm trying to build some dimension on these appliques here. Thank you. I'll show you the whole thing in a second. It's a very early, very early in the process. <laughs> so, this is what I have so far. That's where I'm going. <laughs> So it'll be, it'll be a whole outfit when I'm done, but I always um, say fine without, without the line. Thank you. So. Right now it's just, um. Laying out the basics, trying to get a little bit of depth here, and these little shiny appliques she has going on, and then this whole Mandela thing. I might actually end up putting this on its own layer. I think I'm going to, so it'll pop out on top of it like it's supposed to. This is my very first belly dancer, so... I'm still learning a little bit how these costumes work. Well, that's about it. <laughs> um, don't like that. The next girl, I believe, who's on after me here, she just jumped in at the last minute. I think she does, like, face painting. So, she was saying something about black, white face painting. So, make sure to follow after me here. Oh. When I'm here by myself, I can nitpick at this stuff pretty, um, pretty much until I get it really perfect. So, <laughs> I just try not to stay on one thing too long when I'm here. Hey, boring everybody. What do you mean? What's the question? What the what? What the what?
If you have a question, ask it. <laughs> and just so you guys know, just so you know, there will be some cleavage down in there. <laughs> I just haven't got there yet. <laughs> so there will be some. I just haven't got there yet. So I'm letting these oil paints kind of work their own way together. Do a lot of the work for me on the shading. And I'll come by with some water and smooth them out. All the shadows and highlights help give it a dimension, helps raise it off of the garment, which is exactly what they do. This is all um, appliques. So now if I just take my water and I just blend it a little bit to soften up the lines. And this brush here I'm using is called Just Add Water. That's exactly what it's like. It's like taking water on my brush and just lightly touching it to the oil paint I have here. Just to get rid of those lines a little. And slightly blend it in together. really still is just an example because I will be messing with this long after the end of the scope to get him to look totally real as much as possible but I also have to remember um, time spent because in the gist of things this is an eight and a half by, the, by an 11 portrait so how much detail is going to be there and then also if this gets printed out um, it will be painted on top of and real glitter and um, dimensional paint will be added to it. So, you know, I have to kind of hem and haw on what's worth spending time on and what's not. Oh, way super zoom. tap some of this okay so now we're going to do the same thing that we did on the top I'm going to come in here and what layer is that okay I have some overlay here Let me get rid of that about 10 minutes art is a process it takes a little bit of time
I don't like that edge. I'll just bring my eraser and come back. It is material, so. It's not going to be perfect because it's going to be flowing. some of the sequin texture in here. So this is just going to start giving it a little bit of the look of the material. this out a little bit. Oh, and she's going to have this underwire thing. all I go through all the time you guys all this fun stuff and so you just keep refining it painting to the music. We need some of that turquoise color. So now we'll start getting the sparkle. Obviously, there's going to be more of the lighter colored sequins where the light would hit. I'm not drawing sequins per se, I'm drawing the marks of the light, the reflections. So, even though you have all dark blue sequins in here, um, the light will reflect off of it in different ways. So that's why you only have a couple different color blues. Need more dark under here though.
So I'm gonna get a highlight for my yellow. I hope you can see how I, once I mess with these highlights and shadows, how I can make this look a little more dimensional. And that just takes practice on knowing where, how light works. And you'll get, you get better at that the more you um, draw and the more you can um, practice how you look at things. So we have five minutes left. And I got most of the top done. You see it's coming along and it's starting to look like her costume here. Let me see, here's the, here's the picture. And um, I will work more on the beading. Up. I think I'll probably end up taking some of this down to her dress a little bit. But as I said, this is a fashion illustration. It's not meant to be a picture portrait. It's a simulation of the costume. More so than about the person. But because she is Amira, who is a famous... A well-known belly dancer. I'm sort of getting like an ode to her. And the reason is is because you take somebody famous, especially on Instagram, and you will get people to notice you a little bit. But if somebody out there would like a portrait done, I'm available to do them. <laughs> so this if anybody has any um, any questions or anything else they want to ask before we leave and go watch uh, the next person, which is, I'm going to show you in a second as soon as I get this done. Because I will be working on how this material flows for a while. Let's see, where is it? There we go. It's Henna Fine. Henna Fine. She's up in four minutes. Henna Fine. I believe she said she's going to do some black light face painting, you guys. So that sounds like super cool. And I can guarantee almost anybody probably paints faster than I do. Oh, what I'm going to do is, um, so you can kind of tell, I'm going to put a layer on top in the middle. So this here is going to be on its own layer. So I could kind of go like this. And I'm going to make like a mini mandala here. Out of the center. And it also has a lot of beading too. But so I could kind of I think we're going to build this up.
And then it also has um, this beading here going on where it's like this. Yeah. So I'll have to figure out a bunch of this stuff too. So I'll be playing around with this stuff for a while, I'm sure. What's hard is you can't you can't really tell what's going on in the middle. I'm gonna have to like really look at it. And then those have these little things. Alright, I think it's two o'clock guys. I don't know if she's on. Let's take a look and see. I'll be playing with this stuff. Who knows how long? <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna go watch Hannah find me and see what she has up for us. And I will be continuing to work on this at some point. And um, thanks for joining me today, and thanks for joining us for our very first. Open art scope. You can follow all these people and if you like what you saw and want to see the rest of it Please do follow me here and on um, Facebook and Instagram for sure as then you'll be able to see the finished product All right, everybody. Let's go see Hannah find me